Hey y'all, it's Melissa at Missy Missy Creates. Uh, October journal time. I have a pile of stuff. I still have to make some decisions though. And, hmm, yes, still have to make some decisions. I might use this again, I may not, uh, but I brought it in here just in case. Uh, you've probably seen my printables by now. This is just one set of them. This was kind of the cutesy set I did. Uh, it's candy corn numbers, some um, witches kitties or witchy kitties or a cat with a dressed as a witch. How's that? Pumpkins, um, candy corn, some candy. Happy Halloween. Uh, I thought about it afterwards and I should have done an October, but I did not. Um, and then little purple, yellow, orange kind of bubbles, um, numbers. Well, this is another set I just did. I haven't listed it. I will probably have it listed by the time I air this video or post this video. This was um, another fall one that I did with pumpkins, just pumpkin numbers. And they're large pumpkins. And they measure... Let's do it in inches. Two and a half by two. So that seems to be my my desired size. And um, again, if you like these but you need them smaller, let me know. I can post some uh, in my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop is called Messy Missy Creates, just like my YouTube channel. And yeah, so here's the pumpkin numbers and then just some extra pumpkins. And then this is probably... I think I altered the one that I posted. Um, it probably will be a little smaller and in like you can print four weeks. So it'll, it'll be Monday through. This one's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. It goes like this. I like to, when I list them, I like to have like one week and then one week, one week. So it'll print you off four weeks anyway. So that'll look a little different. It'll look the same. It'll just be a hair smaller and it will be in weak rows, if that makes sense. This is one that I'm not going to list right away. I still have to finish it. This will probably be listed by November. I probably won't wait until November to list it, but I haven't listed it yet. And these are my fall leaves. So if you can see that. And I'm probably going to, on this one, I'm probably going to list this separately because you can use it with either the pumpkins or the leaves. So I didn't see the point in doing a second batch of these. But um, whereas like this Halloween one was listed kind of in a kit. Sometimes I do that for like holiday ones because there's little additional things I can usually add like a clip art page like that. But I'm not doing, since I already did this like that, I'm not doing these like that. But I just wanted to give you kind of a cutesy option and then a more of a pretty option, if that makes sense. So, okay. This is what I have to work with inside my journal. So let me set that to the side. If you have any questions about that, just let me know in the comments. I've got some Baker's Twine, some fall Baker's Twine that I got last year and I didn't use. Got my trusty Trisket box. I gotta make some decisions about some paper. I thought I knew what I wanted. I thought that, you know, if you saw me make my September journal, I probably told you that this is what I was gonna use. And I was gonna use this. I've had this planned for the better part of the year. And then I ended up using this with something else in September. Well, I'm not sure where my September journal is right now, but I ended up doing the pumpkins and sunflowers in September with this kind of teal. And maybe I don't want the teal for this month because in for Thanksgiving, I think I'm using this one. It's the only paper that I have that says thankful. And so it's very much, you know, Thanksgiving related. So I'm, I'm going to probably use that for November. So I don't think I want teal again. So, you know, I mean, I have all these options with pumpkins and things like that, but I think when I did the candy corn numbers, I'm, 
I'm not one to use, um, not like I'm going to make the whole um, journal Halloween, but I kind of thought I'd make it more playful looking, if that makes sense. And so what I had, oh, you saw me in maybe the last video when I was showing you the stuff I got from Joanne's. Um, I got this, and it's very much yellow. It's an orangey tint yellow. It's kind of a glitter. You hear the glitter? It's very glossy glitter. I'm not sure what else I would use it for if I didn't use it for my journal cover, but it's very thick. It would make a great journal cover. And, of course, on that, I could use this polka dot on the inside. I could use just about anything on the inside. So I'm still contemplating that. Um, I thought that might look cute. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Oh, shoot. I never did find my little fussy cut scissors. I really need to find those, don't I? Well, I'm going to have to cut them out with this. Um, because I thought that this might be fun to put on the front. And I thought about decorating the front where, you know, having just a solid or almost solid um, because I thought that would be fun. And then I keep bending that. Um, or this was just my little candy corn family that I did. Um, yeah, I really should have found my fussy cut scissors before I started this video. But anyway, um, I thought that might look cute. I also have an October label. Yes, I actually do. I found one. Um, of course, I could put all of this, instead of putting it on the cover, I could put it on the inside, like the cover page. Um, so this is kind of what I was thinking. And then I have, I die cut like three of these. I don't know which color I would want. And then I have these from um, Hobby Lobby and there's the October. So I could do that. I didn't know if it would stick on the, if it sticks on this, I'll just do it on this. But I thought I might need a label to put it on. So if I do that, Anyway, so then I have that. And then I thought, I found this the last time we were looking through some papers. It's double-sided. Of course, that looks really good with those pumpkins. But y'all, I almost like this. And it doesn't look very interesting to me. I mean, I have more interesting looking paper. But it almost, and it doesn't have yellow at all but I'm almost liking it. See, and I could have that label. I kind of like the look of that. I still don't know if that's kind of a brown or a purpley brown. I know that doesn't sound like that would be a thing, but it it's a very grayish brown, bra blackish brown. I don't know, probably isn't purple at all, but I kind of like that. And then I could do the pumpkins on the inside. I mean, I, I don't really like this by itself, although it would work. I could use that label and not have to worry about putting anything else on the front. And that would make a plenty cute, you know, I mean, it would be cute. I'm like, I haven't done this because I can't make up my mind. I'm like, I've got to make up my mind. I don't know if I like that better or which of the, I, I gave myself three choices of orange just in case depending on which one I use so what do you think what would you use and I probably should have done a live and let you tell me um hmm well I don't necessarily care for the fact that this is more yellow. 
even though there's plenty of yellow in October, you know, I'm hoping stuff will stick to that. I don't know. Um, it's only one way to find out. So if I did this and then I did this orange label and did October, that would match. But, and I don't know when else I would use that. Uh, this is going to be an inside piece, depending on what I use. Of course, I could use this solid orange, but I don't want that. I kind of like this. Huh. I don't want to make the whole thing Halloween. And that definitely is not black black. Because you can tell the black on the cat from the... But I kind of like this. And I could use this to die cut pumpkins. This sparkly yellow, whatever. I could use that for something else. Um, well, actually, that doesn't look bad on here either. Okay, I'm cutting this in half. Um... I don't usually decorate my covers because I usually use something that is, has too much of a pattern to decorate it. So, let's see. A paper cutter out here. Hmm, nope. All right, so this should be 12. Let's make sure before we cut. Yep, right at 12. So I want this at uh, six. Couldn't find my six here. So I would cut it just in half. And then, is that half? It doesn't have to be perfect. Well, that's a good thing because it's not perfect. But that might give me a better idea what the, you know, what the cover would look like rather than trying to fold it. Nope. Was that it? Nope. I was going to say that doesn't match. That matches. And then I could either put this down here. Or I can cut one of these pumpkins. And let's see, I don't think I want much white showing. So let me fussy cut a little fussier. And this stem is going to, it has little curlies on it. I am um, not going to, I almost, I may cut them off is what I'm trying to say. They're cute. But, so, I mean, all right, so here's what it would look like if I cut the curlies off. I could always reprint it if I want them back. Here we go. And, ah, uh, I really need my other scissors. They have to be right here. They can't have gone far. So, I could just put, oh, wait, but wait. Maybe I'd rather have it up here. I could use a smaller pumpkin. Hmm, I have the smaller candy corn family, too. Let me see. Do I want them up? Nope, they're too big. Nope, too big. Well, have you made your October journal yet? Yeah. Um, I also have some of these stars. Of course, they're yellow purple, so I won't use those. Um, cause this def purple definitely is not gonna look good with this color journal. And, um, I'm hesitant. I'm still really hesitant to use this paper because 
I am going to have purple in my journal, although I don't think that the cover has to match all the pages. You're not going to see them together. So I could do that, or I figure I'll cut these out anyway, because regardless of what I use, whether I use the yellow or I use the um, this one, I figure I'm going to use either or both these pumpkins and the candy corn to decorate it. So that's why I figured I'd go ahead and cut these out. But I wanted to show you the page as a whole that you can get it, you know, um, it comes together, not in pieces. So can do that and only have stuff up here. One of these days I want to make one of those collage front journals. And this is too long. This is not going to be that long. This is going to be about this long. So where I had that candy corn down here is not all the way. This looks like a very tall journal, but it's going to actually have about three inches cut off of it. So it's going to be about right here. So I would either have, if I did it down here, I'd have the pumpkins and I could put both of them down here and they look kind of cute. And I'm not trying to decorate it yet. I just am trying to decide whether or not I'm going to use this paper or not. Well, those kind of look like mountains on here. Mm, don't know if I want those together. I think I lost my other little pumpkin. I did. How did I lose it already? Well... I think it blew off my table, maybe. Okay. Oh, it's just under that pumpkin. Anyway, I think I like the pumpkin with this and not the candy corn. Whereas, if I... Now I'm going to cut this and see... I'm actually going to bring the big one up here. See if you can see that. I know there's a glare, I'm sorry. Let me see if that's, yeah, 12 on the nose. No, actually, you know what? This one, the six inch is very sketchy. I forgot about that. It's right on that um, crease. I'll do it this way so I can see better it's not going to hurt this paper to be cut in half I mean I can get another one if I really need it in you know 6 in or 12 inch let me try to do that a little straight a little bit straight Nope. Darn it. I didn't go all the way through at the top. It's all right. I didn't need the whole thing. Okay. Because we are almost 20 minutes into the video and I have not made a decision yet. Well, I may have messed this paper up. Because I didn't even come close to my six inches. So, I probably would go with this orange, maybe. I don't know. That almost looks like... Looks like maybe I should go with this orange, regardless of which one I use. And this one looks like it would be more playful. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? So maybe this one wins. What do you think? Use some sparkly and decorate it in our candy corn. I think it's more fun. Uh, yeah, sure. But I sure did like that. Okay, I could use that for cards. And it's got solid orange on the back, so I can always use it for pockets later. Okay, so the yellow glittery wins. Let me put this up here. Even though I kind of butchered it a little bit, but we'll see. Um, 
Hmm. Trying to measure it and see what. Yeah, that's just under six and that's just over six. So I did not hit that on the mark, but I'll make this bigger one the cover, the front cover. And that way it won't matter about the back. So now I got to cut my box down. So bring out the big guy here again. I'm glad that I made more room on my table. So I can do this a little bit easier. Okay, so all I did was undo the Trisket box. This could work with any cracker box you have. Now, you can't do this part without this big heavy duty blade or this cutter. This is the Fiskars. It's the heavy duty ro rotor, rotary cutter. And I are, I don't have to measure. I already know that all I have to do is cut these flaps off. And I keep these things right here because they make good tabs for pages. Keep them in my little tab box up here. And cut this one. And it's easier for me to pull it towards me than push it. But that's just me. And then there's tabs and tabs. And I don't keep I don't keep these little pieces. I just recycle them. Okay. Or compost them. Now what I should have here is about nine inches. Sometimes it's nine and almost a quarter, which is fine. Um, I can trim it down a little bit more if I really want to get off this little bump. And I've got a little den in my box right here. I do try to keep it at about a nine and a quarter, nine and a quarter. So let's see. It, we're at nine and three sixteenths. So that's pretty darn close. So I'm going to keep it there. Now what I'm gonna do is where it has this opening right here. I mean, where it's sealed, glued together. I'm not gonna cut it with the trimmer. I'm just gonna, there, just like that and open it up. And I'm not gonna keep that flap and I'm, I'm gonna cut this little flap off. So here is the front cover and I do try to keep the front cover the front cover of my journal because it makes it easier when I go to um let's see I'm I'm doing journal math here six and a quarter six and a half this is going to be my first um spine fold and I'm only going to do, yeah, I still want this six and a half, I think. So, you know, I do this every month. You'd think I would know. And I, I think I do it a hair different every month. But anyway, so I made that six and a half. Now, these I will keep. Actually, that one I might not. I don't know. I'll, I'll hang on to it for a minute. See if I need it. And then I forgot to get out my scoreboard. Let me do that. I'm going to, I want six and a half plus. I'm only trying to give myself about a quarter of an inch spine. So that would be six and three quarters or let's say seven and I can trim some off. So that's journal math. So I hope you're keeping up. So this is six and a half. And I want, let's say I'm going to give myself a half inch spine. And then I want six and a half again. So what I want is seven. I'm going to cut seven inches from this crease again. So I'm going to put it right at the seven. Yep. And see when I went to go push it, it, it turned it a little bit. Okay, so it shouldn't be even. It should have about a half inch. And so that's accurate. So I'm done with this for now. Actually, I think I'm done with it. 
And then I just have to score. I need a score line or a fold at a half an inch. Okay. Here is my scoreboard. Is noisy. Okay. So here is my, this is my front cover. And this is at, well, it's technically, it's an eighth less than six and a half. So what I do is I just score, like everywhere there's a line and it just kind of tells my paper I want it to kind of curl. And then, so this one right here should be a half inch spine. So I'm gonna have to trim like an eighth of an inch off of this end, I think. But I want that one really, I'm going over it several times because I want it to really fold there. Not just... The other ones, they don't have to actually fold. This one, I need it to actually fold at a 90 degree. Right here. Doesn't have to make a complete fold, like fold over, but I'm going to just to tell it that I want it to do that because I want it to be an actual 90 degree fold. Um, let's see, I think I got it. Okay, so my back cover is about, yeah, it's about an eighth of an inch too long. So I'm just gonna trim it down just a hair, literally just a hair. So I wasn't done with this. So let's see, I want that at six and a half. Nope. I want it, yeah, that's what I did. I think I always just mess up just a hair on this, um, where I fold it over and try to look at the mark. I think it always throws me off by like an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch. All right. So we should have almost six and a half by almost nine and a quarter. So where is my, this is my little bit bigger piece. And then I'm going to use, so this will be like this. And this will be like this. And then I have my tape in the middle, which I'm gonna have to get it dead on the nose here because I have, um, yeah, have a little bit more room than I normally do, or I did last month anyway. Let's see, I might still need to take a little bit of that. No, nope, I think it's okay. What do we think? And this little fold right here that was in the cracker box, see, I didn't need that big of a spine. This little fold, it'll go away. Um, I do, however, like to, here's my bone folder. I do like to flatten that, and sometimes I forget. Because um, it really will not show if you use cardstock. You know, like a thicker cardstock. It really won't, I haven't had it really show that much. I mean, I know it's there and I can see it if I hunt for it, but if I remember to flatten that out, then I very seldom ever notice it. Okay. Now you could have cut those and then glued them together, but I don't see the point in cutting them apart just to glue them back together. It's just, to me, it's an extra unnecessary step. So, 
Why do it? All right, so here I'm gonna do my front cover, get my glue stick, and I am gonna use my Well, it's got stickers all over the top of it. I never did finish that month's, um, never finished that collage calendar that those stickers went on. Um, let's see, right here. So I want it to be about, I'm just trying to mark where the glue, or kind of eyeball where I want the glue to stop. It's easier to put, for me, it's easier to put it on the box than it is on the paper. And then I know that when I go to cut off my paper, my box doesn't, or my paper doesn't have extra glue on it. So, and I make sure I get these edges really good. And there we go. Oops. Turn it this way so I can really see what I'm, how I'm lining it up. I try to line it to where I only have to cut it on one end because that wastes the least amount of paper. And where did I just put that bone fold? Oh, I didn't put it back where it goes, that's for sure. Got a little extra glue on the side here, but it will dry and it'll it'll get covered with tape anyway, so it's okay. I'd rather have extra glue on the box than on the on my paper here. There we go. I flipped that over because I don't want glue on my on the front of my cover now that that's my paper my cover paper there we go and then I just cut it like this with my long scissors um, they do help you to cut a little bit of a straighter line and see I can use that on, as a pocket on the inside or a tag or whatever I want. All right, that's going to be fun. Yep, going to be fun. It'll be different than what I normally do, but it'll be fun. Okay, so I'm going to do the back. And flip that back over to my glue side. I did not look to see where, probably about where that D is. Stuck my finger right in that glue. So what are you doing for your October journal? Have you made it yet? It's, this is currently the 1st of October. Um, I'm hoping I get this posted today. Um, gonna have to edit it, I think, a little bit, so. Hopefully that won't take too long. And let's see. Um, are you going, do you decorate your journals for October? Do you do all Halloween? Do you do Halloween at all? Um, I'm not huge on Halloween. It's not, I like it. It, I don't have small children anymore. And we don't get trick-or-treaters around our house. So, you know, that kind of, to me, that's the most fun part of Halloween, you know, was having, you know, trick-or-treaters and all. We can go to, like, his mom and dad's neighborhood and pass out some candy, but um, we don't always. Um, we like to do something on Halloween, but... I'm not one that wants to decorate for Halloween the whole month, although, well, candy corn's not necessarily Halloween specific. It's just fun candy that is this time of the year. It's, it's a seasonal candy. So that's why I went ahead and went with the candy corn numbers. 
It's kind of like pumpkin spice season. It's candy corn season. I love candy corn. I actually, okay, I'm going to get shot for this comment. I think I like candy corn better than I like pumpkin spice. Yeah. I like pumpkin flavored. I love pumpkin bread. I love pumpkin whatever, but I'm not one to put pumpkin spice in my car. I don't know. I need to try it again before I say that for as a certainty, but I know that's not the popular thing to say because although I do love pumpkin, I love pumpkin everything. I love pumpkins. I love actual pumpkins and pumpkin decorations. I love white pumpkins. I love orange pumpkins and yellow pumpkins and green pumpkins and blue pumpkins. And I cannot believe it's October and I'm not putting pumpkins on my journal. Now, I could do this and have pumpkins on the inside. Or, I'm kind of fond of this polka dot. Um, yeah, kind of thinking I'm sort of fond of that. And then, the reason being is because I can take this paper and make pockets and I still have pumpkins in my journal. Um, I could use those as pockets, but I think I'm going to wait since I didn't use that paper. I could use, these are where I, what I cut the little labels out of. Hmm. Just looking to see what else I have. I think I want this, so I might as well use it. I think that was my go-to for my inside, regardless of what I used. So, I'm bringing this is my this is my favorite paper cutter. I'm when I went and got the. Wait a minute. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, I need to cut it in half. When I went and got the scoreboard I, this paper trimmer was in with my card making stuff too that's where my scoreboard was why are we not cutting that well it's just the extra little tab at the end it's perforated anyway i don't know why i left it on well maybe it's it's supposed to be perforated there it goes There we go. I think that's cute, though. I'm going to keep it. It'll make a cute border for one of the pages. There we go. Okay. Done with that one. And... Let's see. I can't, but I still can't believe I just went with the solid yellow. I just, that was so not what I was planning to do, but it works just fine. And I like the glitter. I thought that was fun. And I kind of wanted to decorate it. So I don't normally get to do that. Okay. So I'm putting, um, Now, I could put the tape, I, if I'm going to wrap the tape, you know, if I'm going to wrap that binding tape around, I could do it before I put this in, but I, I don't think I'm going to. Um, that way, if you're crooked or something, the paper makes it look straight, you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm going to wrap it all the way this time anyway. I think I'm going to leave it. Um, because my September journal, here it is. I wrapped it all the way around, but see, I just, I just use washi tape, so it doesn't really matter. I wrapped it all the way around and it, it, it never wanted to actually shut. So I think it was too, it made the spine a little too thick. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what I mean. Cause you've seen me do it the other way before. 
So I'll show you this way. And I'm gonna have to be uber careful. I'm gonna stand up as a matter of fact. And awkward silence. Let's see. I wanna make sure I have more on the front cover, if that makes sense. There we go, because it just does cover. There we go. And I could have done it in two strips, but I did not. So by doing it that way, and now I still could wrap it all the way around. I want this little bump out of here because it's gonna throw off my paper. There we go. Um, see, I can take this and I can wrap this this way and it gives me extra stability in my spine. Um, it just never wanted to close though. So I'm thinking I'm not going to do it. Um, it leaves that raw cardboard. You can see the cardboard a little bit, but I have plenty of, of, of October tape. Oh, I have plenty of like pumpkin and whatever washi tape that I, I want to use. And if I'm going to use it, now's the time to use it. So this is what I had been doing. And so, but see how I was saying that it would cover, the paper covers that a little bit? Not much, but anyway, that's all I was saying. Um, I must have cut my my journal a, a hair longer this time than I do because sometimes I have more overlap on that tape than other times. So, I, like I said, I do it. I don't have a standard measurement because I do it a little different every time. Let me glue that down a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right, so this is just the inside covers. There's, it's not directional. It doesn't matter what direction I put it in. It doesn't matter what the front cover is, the back cover, or anything like that. But if it is, make sure, if yours is, um, and you're following along, make sure that you know what is the front cover and what is the top and bottom. If you need to make a little T, you know, T and a F for top and front just to help keep, you know, but because this is polka dots, it's not really directionally, <laughs> keep wanting to say directionally challenged because sometimes that's me. Um, directional dependent, is that the right word? It doesn't have a pattern on that the direction matters. Alrighty, let me get that out of the way and move those stickers. Did I lose my bone folder again? Well, I don't know how it got buried that far under, but it did. But like if this paper would have had words on it, I would have needed to make sure that, you know, that was my top and that was my bottom. As of right now, the top, the front and back on this don't matter so far, you know. I did not cut that straight at all. Let's see, I'm gonna burnish that a little bit better. Now I can really get along that 
along the edges and I really don't have a lot of problem with them coming up. Oh, and I've told you this before, I've mentioned it in a video, I took my nail polish off because when I had nail polish and I was doing this, when I'm going like this, I was getting nail polish marks on my journal. So you might wanna keep that in mind if you wear nail polish or, you know, especially the darker color nail polishes. Okay. That tape um, is fabric tape. It's like you get it like in the sports section, um, in like your Band-Aid aisle or not the Band-Aid aisle so much of a drugstore or Walmart. Um, I don't know what the brand is. And somebody asked me that or a couple of people asked me that in the last video. It's um, just called fabric like sports tape. It's like if you were going to wrap your ankle or wrap a bandage and um i think even dollar tree sells it now but it is um i don't know if it has a name or not but it's fabric tape and look in it where you have like splints in a drugstore or band-aids or somewhere along in those that line um and it's not expensive at all and it lasts for a long time and it's so much cheaper than book binding tape and we're using these journals for a month and i've never had one they're not going to rip or tear or anything like that so um you know these are one month journals for the most part we might go back and flip through them a couple times and you know in their lifetime but for the most part they're going to get beat up pretty heavily for about a month and then they're going to sit on a shelf more than likely, or at least mine does. So, um, I just wanted to let you know for sure that's what that was. And get this inside cover glued in. I wanna go over that line really well with tape. remember if this one went over that binding tape or not on this side. Let me line this up. Yeah, it did go over a little bit. Not much, though. There we go. I love this orange polka dot, and it's not fall paper. It's just, it came out of a paper pack that just has different dot and line, like, pattern. Um, pattern paper. It's not cardstock even. It's just pattern paper. The yellow glitter, if you didn't see, now see, you can kind of see that line just a little bit because this is thinner paper. If I had used cardstock, like on the front, you're not going to see it at all. But I always make that to where it's my back cover, so I'm not worried about it. But um, if you are really worried about it, make sure you use cardstock on both sides. And again, it ends up being on my back cover, so I'm not worried about it. But if you know if that worries you or concerns you or whatever, you can um, cut. You can cut both sides of the cracker box, and then you can tape the. Um, you know, you can do it the standard way of book binding. You know, you can make your spine. I just don't see the point in it. So I don't do it that way. I'm, and really all I'm using the tape for is just reinforcement. So. All right. I think that I'm going to decorate um, I think I'm going to use the candy corn and I think I'm going to use the bright orange because, or the darker orange, because that's what's in the candy corn. And let's see, 
let's open these and then now I don't know if I'm gonna because I haven't even torn the pages out or I'm gonna go back to the solid white paper this month I do know that um, I, this is a clear sticker um, I don't know if I'm gonna show you binding it in because you can go in and see any number of videos that I have that show you that. Um, I have a playlist called Journal Assembly. And anyway, I have, because um, I really want to get this one posted today. So, and if I don't do it on video, it takes me about five minutes to bind this journal. If I do it on video, it takes me so much longer. I don't know why, but it does. Okay, I'm struggling with this. But it's, um, there we go. I didn't want it to tear. I really want it to work on here. Okay. Looks like it's going to work. So I didn't even need those labels. I mean, I guess I could have used it anyway. It was cute. But it's down now. There. And I'm sure I have a 2023. I could put that here. I'm not 100% sure that's straight, but... It, it kind of went down before I, I was just kind of auditioning it and it kind of went down before I had a chance to, you know, put it down. I don't need the label. Um, I do think I am going to use the candy corn unless I just use the little candy corn up here. I was thinking kind of underneath that. I'm not getting that back up. It does have a bubble in it, though. Um, I can't really see. I don't know. Kind of like that. I'm not sure. I was hoping kind of to put it underneath this R just a little bit. But, you know, it's funny. I was afraid that wasn't going to stick. And now I can't get it back up. So... Um, I was kind of wanting that to over, like, to go under that R a little bit. <laughs> That's not, it's not coming up. But this paper was so glossy, I was afraid it wasn't going to stick. So, I guess I was worrying for nothing, right? So, I could put them here. I could put the pumpkin up here. Seems high. No, I don't like the pumpkin there. Or I could just leave it like this and decide somewhere in the month. And I think I'm like at an hour. This just seems too big down here. I don't know. It would make a good tuck in a page. Or like, you know, if you cut it out of cardstock, it would make a good tuck on a page. But yeah, I kind of do like that. Oh, I was going to look to see... Um, so that Halloween ribbon that I got, I may take that back. I think the lady overcharged me for it anyway. I think it was supposed to be on sale for $5 or $5.99, and I think she charged me $9.99. So, and I really didn't need it after all, because I had some that would have worked. This is some that I had. It's the same kind. No, this is from... Okay, well, this is from Hobby Lobby, and it was $4.99 anyway. Um, I kind of like this green, and... But here's this gold. Okay, let's open it. And it once you open it, it's a mess. Um, it's got some yellow eyelash ribbon in it. No, I've already opened it, I think. Hope oh, not all the way. Now I have. Hmm. Can't get that yellow eyelash ribbon to get out of there. It's tied up in this tape. 
All right, now we have a mess. I've had this for a while. Um, yeah, did I rake the, yep. Okay, I don't have anything green on this front cover. So the, I don't know if that really, I like it, it's fun. Not quite what I thought I was gonna use. That, cause it looks more spring. This looks more fall to me. And all I wanna do kind of is hide that tape edge a little bit. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think so. I think I like it. And then I can take that other roll back. Cause as you can see, I have plenty of, um, yeah, I kind of like it. it. Just has that little bit of brown, but plenty of lime green. I don't have a lot of purple, but um, the only other thing I thought about using was this orange, and I really don't. It's got silver metallic in it. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut it right there just to make sure it's long enough. And I have this basket. Well, I was going to show you, but see, I could have used this again. There's this light, this darker orange. I think that's what I used last month. And then there's this lighter part. And I could use it again, but I think I'm probably going to use this teal. Um, oh, that's kind of a brown. That might be fun. That's like way in there, though. It's, um, yeah, I've got them. Okay, good job, good job. See, do we like that? Actually, it's not bad, but I've used that the last two months. So, I think I like this, well, no. All right, let me move that. I was going to show you, I've got this whole basket of ribbon in here. So, like I said, I really did not need to buy any more ribbon anyway. I just, I forget what I have in here. I have plenty of bright green, like a neon green. Just looking to see if there's anything else I can't live without. Um, this is really the only fallish looking ribbon that I found. So I think I would like that. Of course, I could just put washi tape down it, but I've been enjoying having that ribbon there. I've been enjoying that eyelash ribbon because I've been playing with it. When I do my journal, I like to rub my hand across it. It's just fun. Um, somewhere up here, I'm gonna try to do this, oops, with just my art glitter glue. If I need to come back and tack it down better with my, um, what do you call that? Fabric, fabric tack. I will, but I think this art glitter glue will do the job. And awkward silence again. And here we go. I find that when I'm having to concentrate, I tend to have to be silent. Do you do that too? Okay, it may not stick because it's on this silky, but I'm gonna leave it alone and give it a chance to stick. Or I'm gonna keep pushing on it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna leave it alone and give it a chance to stick. I'm gonna keep messing with it and messing with it and yeah, do you do that too? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. I think they're fun. I'm gonna use this art glitter glue. I think it stands a little bit better chance of sticking on this gloss. 
And then who knows, maybe I'll find some cute little October stickers and I'll just kind of bling it up a little. I haven't done that before. I haven't had a journal front that I can just decorate and I really would like to do that sometime. Just have one of those kind of collaged ones. Um, I see people do that and I, it looks like fun. But I also have scrapbook paper that I need to use up. So that's kind of what I tend to do. Or I find scrapbook paper that inspires me to use it that month. So anyway, all right, here's my October cover. And... Um, oh, I didn't put in my pocket. I'll probably do that after. Um, I could do this I Love Fall again. Or, well, I could let you look too. See, here's that kind of purpley brown again. And I think that's more Thanksgiving-like is what I was really thinking. Okay, I have, this is just like fall leaves. Or I have this pumpkin, pumpkin everything. I kind of like that. Um, this I love fall. Did I? I can't remember if I put that. Yeah, I put that in the September journal. Not that I can't use it again, but I like this one. Oh, but wait. I have candy corn. That kind of looks very Halloween-ish. Huh. It sure is cute, though, isn't it? Oh, drat. I like this. Go with your first... Your gut instinct. Go with your first... I don't know if you're going to be able to read that when I get, I usually do that after, um, shoot, I cut that ribbon. I usually do it after I, um, bind in the signatures, but I just wanted to show you what that's going to look like, so I went ahead and did it. Pumpkin everything. There we go. Trim that. Trim that. There we go. All right, and I'm, I'm gonna trim this ribbon when it dries, you know, cause I'm leaving it alone, right? No, I'm gonna go ahead and trim it now. Cause that, it looks like a little bug sticking up off of there. Okay, did we get it? Okay, now we have a front and a back and a top and a bottom. So I'm thinking, I kind of like that. It's a little plainer than I thought, but again, I'll find some little stickers and I can just stick stuff to it throughout the month. And I think that'll be fun. I don't know that this ribbon style matches the kind of playful style, but we'll see. If I find something better through the end of the month or as the month goes, I'll just put it on there too or replace it. I don't know. We'll see, but it's a start, and this is a happy October to you, because like I said, this is the 1st of October, and um, we'll have fun. Of course, it's going to be shiny in the camera the whole month, but um, that'll be all right. All righty, well, I will um, thank you, you know, thank you for coming along with me and um, watching and I hope you enjoyed and I hope it gave you some ideas although I don't know that this was you know very uber inspiring about anything but maybe it gave you some tips on how you could use some boxes that you have and it makes for a very sturdy journal and if you wanted it even sturdier you could glue the boxes together so um but that's up to you and I will um see you back. I think I have one more September journal with me video and then we'll be playing in the October journal. Y'all have a great day. Bye.